diagnosis according to sangpo organ patterns, the large intestine imbalance. The large intestine's function are to receive the draw, the draws that remains after food, the food and beverages that have been ingested had been transformed by the other organs, extract the last suitable fluids out of the remaining contents, and send the untransformed residues out of the body as feces. These functions are influenced by the spleen, the stomach, and the kidneys. This means that the large intestine is the stage in which these activities take place, but in a disruption of these functions, will usually be addressed by treating an imbalance in the spleen, stomach, or kidneys while using points that directly influence the large intestine. The large intestine can also be affected negatively without other organs being involved. This is seen when there has been an invasion of exogenous pathogenic G. Invasions of exogenous cold or damp will disrupt the movement of G in the large intestine. The blockage of G will manifest with pain. An invasion of exogenous cold can result in constipation because cold can block the movement of the stools through the large intestine. But also the blockage of G can mean that exogenous cold and damp prevent the large intestine from extracting fluids from the stools. And in these situations, the invasion of cold will manifest with watery diarrhea. Damp heat can also invade the large intestine. This will also cause diarrhea, but the diarrhea in this situation will be sticky and odorous. The heat will scorch the mucous membranes, resulting in the stinging, burning sensation in the rectum. The heat can be so intense that blood is agitated to the extent that, we, that the walls of the large intestine rupture. This can result in blood in the stools. When qi stagnates in the large intestine, it will result in abdominal bloating, distension, or pain. In a purely excess condition, the pain will be alleviated by passing of stools because the stagnation will thereby be alleviated. Qi in the large intestine can stagnate when there are invasions of exogenous pathogenic qi or when this stagnated liver qi invades the large intestine interfering with the downward movement of qi in the large intestine. Blood stagnation in the large intestine can also block the free downward movement of qi and stools. There is close cooperation between the large intestine and its partner organ, the lung. The large intestine is dependent on lung qi being sent down so that it can force the feces out of the rectum. Lung qi deficiency can manifest with there not being enough force to expel the stool from the body. In these situations, the person will typically feel very exhausted after they have passed the stool and will possibly sweat spontaneously afterwards. A condition of young deficiency can lead to cold more easily invading the large intestine and to there not being enough young chi to move the stool through the large intestine. This will result in constipation. Next, the general symptoms and signs of a large intestine imbalance. So we have constipation or diarrhea, abdominal pain. There is abdominal bloating. Thank you for your attention.